Hey there, Amalia with Karmic Kindness with your Wonder Wednesday message for today. So I want to share with you a situation that's unfolding as we speak. So a number of different things are have been going on and they all connect in with each other indirectly and they have gotten stuck in process. So I don't know if you've ever had a situation where you are, something is loading and it you get that like, I call it this, this like ever... Uh, present circle, the one that just keeps going round and round and round and round and round, <laughs> and you're just waiting for it to load and waiting for it to, to click through to the next step. So I've had a situation working with Verizon, Disney Plus, Hulu, Xfinity, and um, uh, health insurance, <laughs> okay, where all of these little pieces that need to be taken care of and need to be done are stuck. So with each one, it's uh, some option was either removed or it's in this loop that it can't get out of. And so as I'm trying to complete tasks and cross things off my to-do list or take care of things in preparation for something else, I'm being met with, with blockages, resistance, um, the option, the path that I'm taking gets blocked or closed or removed altogether and navigating the frustration that I'm feeling around all of these things. It's like I, in my attempt to make my life easier and um, my attempt to make make sure that things are taken care of, that planner in me who wants certain things sorted before I take a trip or before the new year or whatever it might be, I'm met with problems and obstacles. And, you know, I typically have the viewpoint of everything happens for a reason. There's always a reason and a purpose. And it's like, how can you see the gift in whatever is coming up? How can you find that sense of peace in the chaos? And I can tell you right now, I have definitely failed in finding the peace in the chaos and being able to see what the golden nugget is. Like I thought I saw the golden nugget. I thought that I got the message and then I thought, okay, here we go. I'm going to go back at it the next day. And still these things that were supposed to be cleared, the obstacles that were supposed to be dealt with within 24 hours, which is what I was told, were not. And more hours on the phone, literally hours and hours on the phone with multiple customer service people. And that sense of frustration around not being able to move forward. So I share this with you today in this Wonder Wednesday is that I wonder for you, has that happened in your life? And what did you do to navigate that feeling of frustration and to be able to find that silver lining in the dark cloud, or to be able to find a sense of peace within yourself in those moments when you felt anything but peaceful. So I can going to share with you what I did. And some of some of this was helpful in the moment, some of it um, really took some time. And there were times too, where I just allowed myself to be really, really fucking frustrated where I just literally like a kid having a temper tantrum. I was just like, oh my God. I mean, it was just so, so much for, for, for me to take. <laughs> like my body was just, it needed to explode the energy out somehow. So that's what I did. So I moved my body in a way that I allowed all of that energy to flow. And if you would have seen me, you would have thought that I was a two-year-old having a temper tantrum on the floor. I went out in nature. I took a walk on the beach. Thankfully, that is an option for me. But even if I wasn't living in Florida near the beach, I would have been outside and walking and connecting. For me, water is very soothing and comforting. Um, where is that for you? Uh, I also really took a deep dive into what is the lesson for me. Um, one of the lessons for me was not to push when there is an obstacle there, to maybe just take a moment and step back, to slow down, to not be in a rush, to know everything is divinely orchestrated. It all happens when it's meant to happen. It's all working out for me. I just don't see it in the moment. It's all going to be okay. You know, I just had to keep reminding myself of that. and. 
you know, I would share my frustrations with my partner who in his, his, um, in his way was looking for solutions for me and was looking to, okay, how, what can we do? How can I help you? Let's try this. Let me do that. And I even said to him last night, I said, you know what? I don't really need this to be fixed by you right now. I just need you to listen and just be there for me. And that's it because I just need to be with this for, for the moment and find a way through. And so I think that also gave me an opportunity to express my needs, to be able to even know what they were. How many times do we go through life where we don't even know what we need in the moment? We just know we don't feel good in the moment and we'd like to feel better. But maybe in those moments, we're not meant to feel better. Maybe we need to feel whatever it is we are feeling because underneath that feeling, in the deep part of ourselves that we very rarely want to go into, there's a wound or some part of us that is hurting or needs attention. So for me, I'll be vulnerable and share. It is about knowing what my feelings are, knowing what I need and being able to express it. It's also telling me to slow down and not push too hard on something that's not ready to be moved. And so I've had to take a step back. So when I'm feeling this sense of resistance from the universe, when I'm pushing at something, feeling into myself to know when to step back, because a couple of days ago, maybe three days ago now, I could feel my pushing on it. And I was hearing the voice of stop and take a walk, stop and do something else. And I would stop and maybe go do something else while I was on hold or while I was waiting for somebody to come back on the chat to help me sort through it. But, and then I would come back, I would feel better for a time and then I'd come back and I'd be back in that same feeling. And so finally, after probably five or six hours, not exaggerating, of pushing and not getting anywhere, I said, you know what, I'm done. And I went to the beach and I took a walk and I got quiet. I didn't listen to music. I just really connected with the sound of the ocean and the feeling of the sand on my feet. And at that point, the sun wasn't really out anymore. It was getting dark, but it really brought me back to center and allowed me to navigate the rest of my evening a little bit better. And so that was the lesson for me is the, is the not pushing the not trying so hard. And there's that fine line between determination and giving up or taking a moment, taking a break and then getting back at it. So I don't know if, if that is helpful to you at all, but on this Wonder Wednesday, I'm just wondering for you, what are those strategies that you use when you're feeling like things are not going your way? or you're meeting obstacles or doors are closing in front of you that were open seconds before you got to the door. <laughs> um, how do you handle that? I would love to know. All right. Hope you have a beautiful Wednesday. Remember, we learn from one another. So please do share with someone you think may benefit. And I will see you here on Friday for the Flower Friday card reading.